Hello and welcome to another tutorial series by QuickSite.com. In this tutorial we are going to go over how to add a blog to your QuickSite website or to any Joomla 1.5 platform. Let's start by logging in and typing administrator after your first forward slash after your domain name. Alright, and to start off here, let's just uh, be clear that there are many ways to do this. This is not an all-encompassing way. Um, there are many ways to add a blog. There are uh, many extensions and modules from the Joomla community that also have blog-like features, and you can certainly integrate um, a WordPress blog into this and simply use the external link menu item to, uh, to reference that. But what I'm going to show you here today is how to take what you have in the core and to kind of uh, use the front page manager which is this right here, this tool right here, front page and uh, create a blog on your site, a basic one. So the first thing I want to do is come over to content and come under my section manager and I want to create a new section and I want to call it blog and then I'm going to do the same under the category manager I'm going to create a new category I'm also going to call it blog and I want to be sure to place it in the blog section that I created in this drop down box here and hit save next what I'm going to do and you'll see how this all comes together here in a moment is I'm going to come over to my menu and go down to main menu and I'm going to go over to new menu item and I'm actually going to come down to the articles and within and when you dig into this you'll see the one two three the fourth one down is front page and it says front page blog layout so I'm going to click that I'm going to make the title I'm going to call it blog and it's going to show up in my top menu and I'd, li I'd like it to show there and that's fine so I'm going to hit save and let's go and visit our front end now and hit preview and when you do you'll notice that a new top level link of blog showed up I actually want this blog menu item to be before my contact menu item so I'm going to go down here in my menu item manager and I'm just going to cl simply click this up arrow to move it up one. And you'll notice that when I do that and refresh my front end it transposes the blog and the contact. And when I click this you'll see that there's nothing there. And that's because we still have a few things left to do. Alright, the third thing I want to do now is I want to come over to extensions and mouse down to my module manager and I want to come over and create a new module and the module that I want to create is actually the archived content module and for the title I'm going to give it blog archives and I want the title to show I'd like it to be enabled and I'm going to go ahead and choose it to show on the right side of the site and I'm going to come down here to the menu assignment and I only want it to show on a selected menu item and I want it to only show on the blog menu item that we just made earlier and then we're going to hit save alright now let's go back to our front end to see what we've done so far I'm going to hit refresh and when I do I'm going to see this box here blog archives that I just created and uh, now we've got uh, the structure of our blog set up now how to actually blo add blog entries and let's go to that go to back to your back end and let's go into your article manager and let's make our first blog entry you go up to new for a new article and we're just going to call this blog entry 1 do the same for the alias 
And now there's two important things. To make sure that it goes into the blog that we've created, you want to do two things. On the front page, you want to click Yes. And in your section, you'll simply want to click Blog. And then, of course, you'll want to use your metadata information to optimize it as you see fit and hit save. Again, make sure you uh, say yes to front page and you'll notice that the blog entry one here has a front page check of yes and it's in the section blog, category blog. Now let's go back to the front end of our site to see what happened. When I refresh the page, there is my blog entry one and there's the text for it. Now what I'm going to do is go into the back end and create another blog entry. I've already filled everything in. It's called Blog Entry 2. And I'm going to hit Save. And again, I make sure I have Front Page selected to Yes, and I've put it into the Section Blog, and the Category Blog will auto automatically fill. I'm going to hit Save. And if we go back to our front end and hit Refresh, we will see now that there is the second blog entry. Now let's say that I want to archive one of these and have it show up over here by month. To do that, in your article manager, simply click the one that you want to archive, and then across the top here you have an, uh, an archive and an archive button. You simply click that. And so I have now just arch archived, excuse me, blog entry 2, and it has a little archived uh, word next to it, and it shows this um, grayed out symbol here to indicate that it has been archived and let's see what happens once we do that on the front end. If I hit refresh you'll notice it removes it from the page on the of the blog page and it sticks it into a month link and if I click December it will show me all the blog entries that I've archived in that month and it also provides a bar here to help filter by date, year, and uh, day of the month um, what entries that you you've made and this comes in handy if you've got uh, hundreds of blog entries and you don't want your blog page to be three miles long here you would simply go into your back end and click the ones that you want to archive and when you click archive the software will automatically know what month it was created and will stack up months here under the blog archive section so again, this is how you can create a very basic blog in your platform to where you've got a blog link. It's a top link. They click it. They'll be able to see in uh, order um, the, the last blog that or last entry that you've made will be on top. And then again, to prevent it from being a huge long page and to provide organization, all you got to do is come to your back end, click the ones that click the ones that you want to archive, and like I was saying, it will automatically archive them over in this section. So, um, hope this helps. That's how you can add a very basic blog to your site, and that concludes this tutorial.